Hi, good afternoon. This is Michael with Coleman & Company. I'm standing here next to the GemFix 60XC cutter. This is a rolled material cutter. It takes rolls of material, cuts it into sheets of practically any length that you want. It's an automatic system. So it's, a, it's an excellent product. Now what we're here to, today to show you is this is the back side of the machine. This is a machine that doesn't get a whole lot of press, you know, a whole lot of uh, video time, but we're going to show you what's back here. This is an air pressure regulator. So the machine um, is basically a pneumatically driven. Uh, in one of my earlier videos, I used the word hydraulic, and I was, uh, I was uh, made fun of a lot, which is okay, because I, I can handle it. Now, however, this is pneumatic. It does require air. Now, what's back here is a dial. This uh, dial is going to tell you where exactly the pressure should be. So at the moment, the dial is set for a lower than typical pressure, and when I attach the air, you're going to see how we can turn this dial and get it to the proper spot. So one moment. We have quite a bit of pressure being pulled in the machine at this time. Now, this air pressure right here in this dial is pointing to about, let's just call it 930. We want to go to midnight. So under this little edge of the dial, there's a green area. That's going to tell you your target zone. So you can turn this upper dial. By the way, the dial is most likely down when it's locked. You pull it up to unlock so you can move it. You just simply dial that a uh, little tighter, like lefty-loosey, righty-tighty, and we're going to hit midnight area, and that's pretty much where you want it to be, and you push it down the locket so it doesn't turn. If for some reason you needed to have even more pressure, maybe your material was heavy or maybe thinner or whatever the case may be, you can dial it up. But the general area is midnight, so once we get it there, you lock it into place, and you have set your pressure regulator the way GemFix wants it.